We are a species that huddles around wood fires and speaks to machines in code. Both human and humanoid, seemingly alone in our corner of the universe, we have begun to resemble the alien societies of our imagination. Computerized machinery crystallizes from the nexus of modern human civilizations, the cityscapes exuding blinking and glistening structures that appear inexorably disjoint from the natural world of forests, mountains and rivers. Our digital world somehow feels alien, as if implanted by an intelligence from the stars. We are a species that sits uneasily at the edge of the galaxy, at once clutching tight to the breast of sweet Mother Earth and, at the same time, reaching with a trembling hand towards shimmering metallic discs humming quietly in the dusk sky. As life emerges on Earth-like planets across the universe, the evolutionary trajectory from prebiotic soup to wet-brained intelligent beings with galactic aspirations is meandering but, ultimately, predictable. Our universe is a resplendent, twinkling, digital machine for culturing conscious intelligences, or, in the words of Henri Bergson, for making gods. As such, all beings that reach a certain level of advancement must eventually confront the fact that their own dusty planet is but one amongst countless others that multitudinous intelligent beings call home. Since the earliest days of civilization, Humans have gazed into the inky night sky, punctured by the flickering lights of numberless alien suns, and wondered who might be out there. Whilst the ancients placed the thrones of their myriad gods amongst the constellations, modern man replaces the deity with the alien, the throne with the spaceship. And it is the alien that we seek. Interplanetary vehicles and unmanned probes catapulted from intermediary orbits are the toys of a young intelligent civilization with an eye towards galactic citizenship. So, as we transform into the alien, we begin to feel ourselves being drawn ineluctably towards the stars. So we speak to the alien, and we speak in code. The exponentially unfolding transformation of humankind in the last century is a transformation written in code. Fundamentally, a code is a set of symbols and rules used to represent and transmit information. All creatures with some level of intelligence eventually discover techniques for the encoding of information. All of our ape relatives, from the macaque to the chimpanzee, as well as the lower animals, such as birds and insects, use codes of varying complexity to communicate, whether it's the diverse warning calls of a vervet monkey or the intricate pattern of chemical signals secreted by social insects. These codes are unified as means of representing and transmitting information. However, in the form of the natural languages, it is humans that have developed the most sophisticated and flexible expression of code allowing us not only to communicate information important to our survival, but also to encode and transmit our thoughts, our ideas, our experiences, our dreams. Further, although the development of the natural languages was undoubtedly catalytic in the original separation of humans from other earthly species, it is the constructed languages of mathematics and, most recently, of computer code that have been transcendentally transformative rendering us all but unrecognisable as creatures of the natural world. A digital lycanthropy mounted on silicon and light, the transformation nears completion, as we re-encode our world, our bodies, our minds into binary form, and upload them to the central processing units of ever more sophisticated computer motherboards. Machine code binary is one of the most fundamental and simplest of codes, and yet, from this string of ones and zeros, the most exquisitely complex information can be constructed and transmitted. Entire worlds may be built, and their encoding fired across the universe with ease. Communication between humans and distant alien species doesn't depend upon interstellar travel, but only on the transmission of code. And, 
As we direct our pulses of electromagnetic radiation into the glistening night sky, we hope that one day, perhaps many millennia in the future, the messages encoded in these pulses will reach the brain of an alien intelligence. We hope that one day they will hear us and, perhaps, answer us. Of course, a binary missive from an intergalactic civilization 25,000 years in the future is little more than a dream, and few engaged in such an enterprise expect to ever have to confront the alien towards which they cast their coded messages in light. But the code is truly transformative, not because it facilitates intergalactic communication, but because it reveals a deeper secret. We seek the alien by turning our gaze upwards, by tuning our instruments to the trembling glows that pepper the dark universe that surrounds us. But the alien intelligences we seek to communicate with are not only scattered throughout the cosmos on warm and wet worlds reassuringly far from our own muddy home, but right here, right now, and they are waiting. Speaking with, even meeting with, these intelligences depends not upon firing code into the starry heavens, nor upon silvery supra-light speed disks and anti-gravity propulsion technologies, but only upon returning our gaze inwards and realising that all of this is built from code. Our cities of lights buzzing on digital code are not an affront to the natural world, but a profoundly deep expression of it. Just as everything that appears on your computer screen emerges from the processing of binary code, so everything in this universe emerges from the code at the ground of our reality. And all that separates each of us from a vast ecology of hyperdimensional alien intelligences of unimaginable and unreckonable power is a switch embedded in this code. This switch takes the form of a small molecule scattered throughout our world derived from one of the 21 amino acids used to build the proteins from which all earthly life is constructed. Galactic citizenship is a noble ambition, but interdimensional citizenship is as close at hand.